Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we find ourselves in a Porsche 911 Carrera S. This is a 2013 model provided by none other. You guys already know that Prestige Marks, the home of luxury cars. If you're looking to outfit yourself in a luxury car, follow them on Instagram, give them a shout. Dominique will be more than happy to find a car that meets all your needs at a price that is as affordable as it comes for a car that sounds like this. How incredible. When you're in a Porsche, it doesn't matter how outfitted it is, how good the equipment is, you always feel like a rock star, and that's exactly what you're getting in this car. So this one here has got the PDK as well as the sports chrono package, which gives you buttons like the sports plus button, gives you your chrome exhaust tips, gives you a couple of other really cool and nifty gadgets around. You've got your Bluetooth audio again. It's comfortable, leather interior. It's about as quiet as it gets in a car that's so focused on being sporty. And this one specifically, what I did notice just above the steering wheel, you get a little heads up display and the button, or should I say the lights there, say launch control. Now, if we weren't on public roads, I'd love to take it um, for a spin. And guys, actually in the comments, let me know if you'd like to see these cars on a track if you'd like us to take these cars on a track maybe it'd be something you're interested in seeing but today what we've got for you is we have got a house in Centurion it's going to be the first house we've ever shot in Centurion as well as the most famous house we've ever shot so this house is featured on the cover of magazines on the cover of house and home as well as in the likes of top billing so guys follow me come with us as we take this beautiful Porsche all the way out to Centurion and show you what luxury living over there looks like And here we are within the home of the moment. We are in Centurion. This is the first home we've ever done in Centurion and what a home to start off with. Guys, as you walk into this house, you'll immediately see this beautiful floral arrangement off to my right hand side. And for all of you budding interior designers, stick with me because at the end of this episode, we're gonna be speaking to the lady responsible for the incredible decoration throughout this home. But here we go, coming through a glass door, you find yourself in the entry hall and just above me, above your stackable sliding doors leading off into the pool area, you find, oh, how would you even describe it? Two meters tall, four meters across, windows all over, letting in so much light, letting in so much air, making this home feel very close to nature. And then, where can I go but look at this right here, the dining room area calls me. This is exactly where you need to be next. This dining room area easily fits this 10-seater dining room table. There's so much space here. You feel comfortable, you don't feel crowded. So if you're hosting many people, if you're a budding chef, if you love cooking, if you love being in the kitchen, and we're gonna be going to the kitchen next, this is the home for you. But follow me, let's take a look. This dining room area has its own set of stackable doors. And a feature on these stackable doors that I love is that they're all tinted. So even though they're letting light, it's not gonna heat up the room. It's not gonna make you sweat. It's not gonna make you uncomfortable. But these sliding doors lead out into your very own patio. Patio with a bra area. So if you want to entertain and you wanna leave that entertainment outdoors, this house caters for it all. But I've spoken about the kitchen, which means now we need to take a look. So you guys need to come with me and let's take a look at what this kitchen has to offer. So entering the kitchen, there's two things that immediately take your attention. The first is this white laminated flow island and the second are these three beautiful chandeliers hanging above providing some soft romantic light within the kitchen but let's talk about some of the features in this kitchen the first is you'll see all the Siemens appliances we've got a four top gas burner Siemens as well as a touchscreen induction stove set as well above us we've got the Siemens extractor and then we've got white quartz countertops as well as laminated gloss under counter storage and on the other side of the kitchen just past the single chef sink you'll find another 
Siemens stove. This here is the oven. And then the microwave you'll find just on the right hand side. All of this is framed again with your gloss cupboards. Space for a fridge, plenty of space to walk about because most of what you need but don't want in sight is hidden in the pantry around the corner. Now your pantry around the corner has a lot of under counter storage as well as a double sink with another slot there for you to store your sponges as well as any glasses you don't want to break. And that under counter storage comes in so handy because that is exactly where you're going to be putting your washing machine, your drying, your dishwasher as well as hiding any other stuff you wouldn't want on display for when your guests come. A frosted door separates that from the remainder of the kitchen. Moving off outside, you'll see the whole pool area is bedecked in white paint, giving you such a vibe from Santorini, Greece. I love the way the pool's done with palm trees off to the left-hand side. It's just green enough, yet modern and comfortable. And here we go, moving from the dining room area and the kitchen into another seating area, beautifully positioned right next to a bar. And guys, take a moment to appreciate just how well done this house was in terms of interior decorating. This seating area, I would say it's a nice formal seating area for you to sit down and get to know your guests. We've got a sunken lounge to the right hand side, but before I talk about that, come a little bit closer. Let's enjoy this bar over here. Beautiful marble top. And behind me, the holy grail of the COVID lockdowns. Plenty and plenty of alcohol. What a beautiful bar, but no bar is any more beautiful than with a little bit of martinis in it. So guys, I think you need to join me. Let's go take a look at that sunken lounge and then afterwards we can enjoy this right over here. So moving off the formal seating area, you come down these stairs here. Again, beautiful design elements. Look at that chandelier and you're in your sunken lounge. Brown leather all over. Almost looks like saddleback leather. You can sit down here, enjoy some TV, look up out into the sky. I cannot explain how nicely done this house is. But one thing I do want to mention is as you can see in the corner, we've got almost floor to ceiling windows, but on display, a whole lot of liquor. Now this road runs around you. So can you imagine how many neighbors must have been banging on that front door during hard lockdown, asking to maybe borrow a drink or two. So coming up these stairs, immediately what you're going to note is on my left hand side, you've got floor to ceiling glass windows letting in so much natural light, glass framing the staircase, marble tiles, porcelain inset windows behind me. The staircase, like this house on a whole, is a wonderful, beautiful place to be and I'm sure place to live. So here we are in the upstairs area, guys, I haven't even seen this, so we're looking at it together, but how beautiful is this upstairs sitting area. It could be a pajama lounge, it could be an informal dining room. Obviously now it's set up as a sitting area and a beautiful sitting area at that. The chandeliers above me, the design choices in this house are second to none, I love it. And they are so good in fact, that what we have got planned is at the end of this video, we're gonna be have a one-on-one -on -one with the person who designed all the interior bits of this house, the interior designer herself, the lady of the hour. So stick in, for everybody who's a budding interior designer, you don't want to miss that. But Follow me, just off the left here, I really want to mention this floor to ceiling window again, looking down into the entryway. And then we've got two bedrooms located up here along with an office. So we're going to show you the first bedroom, we're going to show you the office, and then the creme de la creme, exactly how I like to call it, the master bedroom, and it is beautiful. So let's take a look. So here we come in to the first of the two upstairs bedrooms, floor is wood paneled, beautifully done, lots of light. They are what I'm facing, an outside balcony with an L-shaped window arrangement. I love the windows in this house. There are so many floor to ceiling windows. It feels so airy, it feels so fresh. Again, the design in here is second to none, guys. I cannot get over how well this house has been done from the lighting to the wallpapers. But again, in this bedroom, plenty of space. You've got some cupboards on the right inside and you also have an in-suite bathroom. So let's take a look at that in-suite bathroom and then it's off to the main area. So the in-suite bathroom in this case has got a walk-in shower, a floating vanity with another one of those soft closed lid toilets with a hidden cistern. Very clean, very modern, very simple and it does the job perfectly. So the hallway following the master bedroom will lead off into a cul-de-sac that makes for the perfect office space with access to your balcony as well as plenty of light. You've got some time to sit back, relax and focus while not feeling claustrophobic or in a gloomy 
office like they usually are. And here we are in the master suite. This is without a doubt one of the nicest master suites I've ever had the privilege of running through. Behind me, as you can see, what a walk-in closet this is. There's even a space here for a vanity for you to get ready, but the owner has not wasted any space in filling up this year with her favorite items. Guys, in the comment section, let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think of her collection. I'm sure you're gonna love it as much as I do, but that is not the only thing that this bedroom has to offer. So what I'm gonna do now is let me scoot over to this side and you'll see we've got an in-suite bathroom. I mean, what a bathroom this is. Look at this floating bathtub and external taps. And look how cool this is. These are your taps, giving it that waterfall effect, making any baths you have in this house all the more special, but it doesn't end there. You've got a toilet again with a soft closed lid as well as hidden cistern. Just behind me, you've got a double vanity, extra length mirror. But when we talk showers, what do you think of this flint wall lined double shower, two shower heads? This is luxury at its finest. I love how some of these houses are so extra. It looks incredible, but you've had your shower. Maybe you want to dry off. Maybe you want to come outside and enjoy your outside area over here. Do a little bit of exercise. Maybe you want to tile off and enjoy the sunshine. Or maybe on a warm summer day, you want to use this outdoor shower. Beautiful. But this is not the only outdoor area you have here. You also have another area just coming off of your bedroom with plenty of space for outdoor furniture where you can sit down, relax and enjoy the sunshine with some friends. Look down upon the beautiful grounds or even that blue pool. So I think I might as well just to catch a workout while I'm here. So now that we've gotten that workout out the way, let me squeeze through here and this is exactly what I was talking about. Your outdoor balcony just off of your main bedroom where you can enjoy the sights, the sounds, the views of a house as special as this one. I take you to the candy shop. I let you to the lolly shop. Go ahead, girl, don't you stop. Keep going until you hit the spot. Whoa! I take you to the candy shop. Yeah. One more taste of what I got. Uh -huh. Now, in the downstairs area of this house, you've got one bedroom, and this is located in the corner, and it mirrors very much what you're all going to see in the upstairs bedroom that we'll show you near the end of this video. But this bedroom leads outside into your garden. You've got free access there. You've also got beautiful space for a bed, as well as your very own in-suite bathroom, which we'll be showing you right now. Now your in-suite bathroom here, again, all the luxuries. You've got access to your very own bathtub, freestanding walk-in shower, as well as that soft closed toilet lid. I keep mentioning this because it's one of my favorite features. I need to hunt down one of these toilet seats for myself. And here we are within the last bedroom upstairs. Again, the design elements are completely different. You've also got access to your very own balcony looking out a completely different direction from the rest of the house, but lots of space in here. A vertical window that you can open in, letting in a probably very nice and cool breeze considering nothing else is to the left of the house. Plenty of cupboard space with your own in-suite bathroom, but I'd like to just pay attention to the lighting throughout the house. In this bedroom, you'll see there's inset lighting in the ceiling, there's LED lighting outside, along with some very, very nice chandeliers that I'm gonna be pointing out. So let's go take a look at that bathroom, then let's head back down the stairs. And let me introduce all of you to the beautiful owner of this stunning home. Let's go. So this bathroom follows the same trend of the rest of the house. Clean, simple lines with a walk-in shower, a floating bathtub, your hidden cistern toilet with soft closed lid and floating vanity. Everything you need in a style and with access of which you need it. So hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm sitting down and we're doing something very different. I've managed to secure the owner for this house and she also happens to be an interior designer by trade. Everybody say hello to Crystal Afana Fonkham. Hello, Chad. <laughs> now, did I not butcher your name there? Not at all. Well you done. Best. Now, <laughs> Crystal, you are an interior designer. Yes. So how did you get into that? What made you think what I want to be is an interior designer? 
Well, Chad, I grew up in the house of an architect. My father was an engineer architect and my grandfather a developer. So I grew up seeing plans, homes, floor plans everywhere. Uh, it was only normal for me to become an interior designer. <laughs> Were you ever looking at these plans thinking, oh, I could make this house look so much better than what they've done? Exactly. <laughs> and this home here, you've done incredible. It is easily the most beautiful home I've ever looked in. And it's also a, quite a big home. So how do you get started with something like this? When, how do you not be overwhelmed by yeah. when there's so much to do? Mm -hmm. um, I have to say the truth. I work so well at night. Um, when everyone is sleeping and everywhere is dark, I go through the house empty. You know, an interior designer, a blank canvas is, is just like an artist, you know. So I will walk through in the night and look at it and think, what is the place, you know, inspiring me? And the place has to talk to me and tell me, okay, this is what we can do, the color scheme. So much happening for me to take a decision. Do you happen to find yourself start placing objects around to to draw out your vision of the room and then all of a sudden change it and just change everything how do you how do you know when it's done when it's right and when you're like okay i'm going to leave this and let me rather do that room and that room and see if it ties together i don't know if i'm making sense of yet. course you do um i always change my mind and my assistant is tired of me i wake up in the morning and i tell her guanele we are not doing none of what we said yesterday so I will say it's just an inspiration. I mean, um, uh, you, you sometimes show a mood board to a client and then you change completely. It just has to inspire you. The space speaks to you and that's why you are the designer because you take your time to design that space and mine, that's what, I guess that's what mine said to me. So how long have you been living in this home now? Two years. Two years, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I see as we went through this and a lot of the guys have toured this home with us now would have seen yeah. So many of the rooms have got such a unique flavor to them. Mm. Was that was obviously on purpose. Mm -hmm. But how do you how do you get all these different ideas of rooms? I look at them like okay, white walls, we'll put a little bit of this in this one and we'll put a little bit of chrome in this one and it's done. Where do you get these ideas from? I guess I am an interior designer and I wanted to put all the colors so that when I bring my clients or I bring the TV into the home, they have all uh, different spaces and, and different designs. So when a client comes and then they say, oh, Christelle, um, I don't really know what I want. And I take them through my house and they see the different designs and I, oh yeah, this is so me. Oh no, not this one. You know, so you have to incorporate so many styles so that the people coming to you can find themselves in one or many of I them. I love that. So this is an extension of your work. You, exactly. You're basically using this as an example of this exactly. is what we can do, guys. Mm -hmm. Take a look. I love that. Now, mm -hmm. you mentioned TV, so I've been told that this house is featured on a lot of different media outlets yeah. <laughs> and you've also got other homes mm -hmm. that have also featured on the like how does that make you feel to see that you're so well recognized for your work uh, every day chad i thank my dad because i told him he's dead now so i told him we have to have this journey together i have to continue the legacy um architecture was quite difficult for me to to go and do so interior designer was the next best thing um and i took him along and i'm taking him along with me and i asked him you know to inspire me so it's it's a journey of a family and uh, every day it's so rewarding so I do it with my whole heart, I do it with a lot of passion, and it transcends in the design, I guess. <laughs> so I want to ask you one last question before we end up, and that is, what is your favorite feature of this house? Oh no, you can't ask me I that, Chad. I have to ask you, what is your favorite feature? <laughs> is that asking a mom, who's your favorite child? <laughs> <laughs> There's so okay. much here to like. Well, I will say most probably my bedroom, because that is where I stay long hours. I watch TV there, I eat there, I bath there, I dress up for hours, so I'll sit my bed. Well, with the bath, the walking closet and the outside showers, I can believe it. But mm. I do believe that's going to conclude this interview. Thank you for taking some time out to sit with us. Thank you, What I Chad. think we're going to do is we'll throw Crystal's details in on the video. And guys, if you want to get in touch with her, if you want to have somebody make your home look as beautiful as she's made her own, her details will be in the video. Her details will be in the description of the video, if not in the video itself. So give her a shout. And from that, guys, from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property, the guys at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in. And we're going to see you same time, same place.